The federal government says it will soon announce salary increments for civil servants and public officials due to the steady increase in consumer goods. This was, as it said, a presidential committee on salaries is currently reviewing salaries with a plan to announce its decision in early 2023. Minister of Labor and Employment Chris Ngege disclosed this to State House correspondents after a closed door meeting with President Muhammad Buhari at the Asarok Villa, Abuja. On the federal government's position on the eight months outstanding salaries owed public university lecturers, Ngege said the Labour Ministry was asking the court to consider the sections of the constitution concerned. Well, the average Nigerian is currently going through a hard time as prices of staples have doubled. The price of a bag of rice now costs way more than the country's minimum wage. The cost of transportation has also been on the rise. To speak more on this, GDA Ojo Public Affairs Analyst joins us now. Well, thank you very much for joining us. If you can hear me, uh, with the country's economic situation, now, would you say the news of the salary review is a cheering one, considering that Nigeria still has to deal with um, challenges of generating funds? Are we moving in the right direction? Well, it will say so, but um, I'm afraid I'm not seeing this as a cheering news. Uh, given the fact that we have hyperinflation, and I'm not sure whether, even if the federal government is able to pay an increased salary, whether the state will be able to. And don't forget, uh, the minimum wage was supposed to be reviewed every five years. Now, I'm not sure it's up to five years the 30,000 minimum wage was agreed with the labor union. And don't also forget that this was a law by the National Assembly. Because after the agreement, the national, the uh, executive, the president actually sent an executive bill to the National Assembly for passage into law. So, uh, any increase done by Buhari administration in the new year, knowing full well that the next general election will be in less than six months, uh, in less than 60 days. Uh, may be like a great gift because you need to look. You, you rightly pointed out the uh, issue of revenue generation. How much are we generating? We are told by the Minister of Finance that 123% of our revenue will be spent on servicing our debt in 2023. So, how did the President or the federal government intend to fund increase in wage? Uh, now, uh, sorry to cut you here, but uh, um, the, there are comments from all you said also, there are comments that um, the timing of a salary review could be more political than, um, you know, the socioeconomic re realities that um, we are currently faced with. Now, do you agree with this? Very well. I, I agree with them that uh, this is political. Mm -hmm. And that's the point I'm trying to make, that this is more like to win votes in the 2023 election. Because there is no fundamental, there is no economic fundamental to support a salary increase at, at this point in time, when many states could not pay the thirty thousand minimum wage. So if you go increase salary because you want people to vote for APC in February and March 2023, what happens when income administration comes in and they could no longer pay? That would that would generate labor crisis. Uh, for the new administration that will likely come in by May 29, 2023. So it is like a big gift. And I think there should be a lot of thinking through before this is ratified. Because we need to think about sustainability. You need to think about it. And then which National Assembly will ratify this increase if it happens? Knowing full well that uh, as the National Assembly goes on recess, mm -hmm. they may not be back until after the election mm -hmm. in 2023. So I, I see this more as a political move than an econ economic uh, uh, mm -hmm. economic uh, uh, reason uh, on the basis of what is available, the statistics available. We are not having enough revenue. So how do you intend to meet this monthly obligation if you jack up 
the salaries and emoluments of civil servants and public servants. Well, all right. Now, uh, Gide Ojo, Public Affairs Analyst, thank you very much for your time and your contribution.